Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Arnab Kundu. Today I will discuss digital financial tools and its application like RTGS, like NEFT, like OTP and lots more. So go to the computer screen. Today I will discuss the topic digital financial tools and its applications, right? So at first we should know digital financial services, okay? In today's world, everything is digitalized, okay? Which means we can access or get every service in digital format through mobile phones, computers, tablets, etc. Okay? The invention of computers and smartphones has created a huge impact on financial services. Okay? Today, using computers and mobile phones, a person can access his or her bank account, verify account details, transfer funds, deposit cash, renew deposit, pay bills, book tickets, etc. Digital services help to save time by providing services in a single touch, right? The introduction of digital wallets has also made a big positive impact on financial services, okay? Now I talk about what are the key components of digital financial services, okay? So first point, digital transactional platform. It enables a customer to use a device to make or receive payments and transfers and to store value electronically with a bank or any such non-bank institutes which permit it to store electronic values, okay? Retail agent, this is the second point. Retail agents use a digital device connected to communications infrastructure to transmit and receive transaction details, okay? It enables customers to convert cash into electronically stored value and to transform stored value back into cash, okay? And the third point, devices. The customer's device can be digital like mobile phones that is a means of transmitting data and information or an instrument like payment card machines that connects to a digital device like POS terminal, okay? Now I talk about objectives of digital financial services. Main objective of the digital financial services is to delivering financial service technological innovations like mobile phones, okay? Digital finance also has an important role of electronic payment businesses. It not only provides them with access to financing but also to electronic payment systems, secure financial products and a chance to build a financial history, right? It can be a catalyst for the provision and use of a diverse set of other financial services, including credit, insurance, savings, and financial education, right? Now we talk about understanding OTP. OTP stands for one-time password, also known as one-time PIN. It is a password that is valid for only one login session or transaction on a computer system or other digital device, okay? OTPs avoid a number of shortcomings that are associated with traditional password-based authentication, right? With the increase in cybersecurity threats, it has become more and more necessary to upgrade the security standards of your web applications, okay? OTP, we need to make sure our users' accounts are safe, okay? When an unauthenticated user attempts to access a system or perform a transaction on a device, an authentication manager on the network server generates a number or shared secret using one-time password algorithms, okay? The same number and algorithm are used by the security token on the smart card or device to match and validate the one-time password and user, okay? Many companies use short message service to provide a temporary passcode via text for a second authentication factor. 
the temporary passcode is obtained out of band through cell phone communications after the user enters his username and password on networked information systems and transaction oriented web applications right now we talk about qr code qr code which is abbreviated from quick response code is the trademark for a type of matrix barcode or two dimensional barcode first designed in 1994 for the automotive industry in japan okay a barcode is a machine readable optical labeled and contains information about the item to which it is attached in practice qr codes often contain data for a locator identifier or tracker that points to a website or application right a qr code uses four standardized encoding modes like numeric alphanumeric byte or binary and kanji okay to store data efficiently okay the quick response system became popular outside the automotive industry due to its fast readability and greater storage capacity compared to standard upc barcodes okay applications include product tracking item identification time tracking document management and general marketing right now i talk about upi upi stands for unified payment interface it is a system that powers multiple bank accounts into a single mobile application merging several banking features seamless fund routing and merchant payments into one merchant payments into one hood it is also peer to peer collect request which can be scheduled and paid as per requirement and eyes okay with the above context in mind npci conducted a pilot project launched with member banks okay the pilot project launch was on 11th april 2016 by dr raghuram g rajan governor rbi at mumbai okay banks have started to upload their upi enabled apps on google play store from august 2016 onwards okay now we talk about other enabled payment system also known as aeps aeps stands for other enabled payment system aeps is a new payment service developed by the national payments corporation of india to banks financial institutions using other this system is a bank lead model which allows online financial transaction at point of sale micro atm through the business correspondent bank mitro of any bank using the other authentication okay benefits of aeps and their like banking as well as non banking transactions can be performed through a banking correspondent okay banking correspondents of one bank can perform transactions of other banks as well people do not have to furnish their debit or credit card for making transactions through aeps okay fingerprint is needed for transaction authentication which makes it safer micro pause machines can be taken to distant places enabling people in remote villages to make transactions instantly okay now i talk about ussd ussd stands for unstructured supplementary service data this payment service star 99 hash works on ussd channel this service allows mobile banking transactions using basic feature mobile phone there is no need to have mobile internet data facility for using ussd based mobile banking okay star 99 has service has been launched to take the banking services to every common man across the country okay banking customers can avail this service by dialing star 99 has a common number across all telecom service providers okay on their mobile phone and transact through an interactive menu displayed on the mobile screen key services offered under star 99 has service include 
इंटर बैंक अकाउंट टू अकाउंट फॉर्म ट्रांसफर बैलेंस इंक्वायरी मिनी स्टेटमेंट बिसाइड होस्ट ऑफ अदर सर्विसेस स्टार नाइन नाइन हैज सर्विस इज करेंटली ऑफर्ड बाई फिफ्टी वन लीडिंग बैंक एंड ऑल जी एस एम सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स एंड कैन बी एक्सेस इन ट्वेल्व डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस इंक्लूडिंग हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश एस ऑन थर्टीथ नवम्बर टू Star 99 has service is a unique interoperable direct to consumer service that brings together the diverse ecosystem partners such as banks and TSPs means telecom service providers right now you talk about pause the point of sale is the time and place where a retail transaction is completed okay it is a point at which a customer makes a payment to the merchant in exchange for goods or after provision of a service at the point of sale the merchant would prepare an invoice for the customer which may be a cash register printout or otherwise calculate the amount owed by the customer and provide options for the customer to make payment right after receiving payment the merchant will also normally issue a receipt for the transaction usually the receipt is printed but it is increasingly being dispensed electronically okay hardware components of a pos system are like monitor or tablet barcode scanner credit card reader receipt printer right now we talk about internet banking internet banking or also known as e banking means any user with a personal computer and a browser can get connected to user banks website to perform any of the virtual banking functions right in internet banking system the bank has a centralized database that is web enabled all the services that the bank has permitted on the internet are displayed in menu right any service can be selected and further interaction is dictated by the nature of service okay the network which connects the various locations and gives connectivity to the central office within the organization is called intranet these networks are limited to organizations for which they are set up okay swift is a live example of intranet application okay now we talk about automated teller machine means atm atm is designed to perform the most important function of bank it is operated by plastic card with its specific features the plastic card is replacing check personal attendance of the customer banking hours restrictions and paper based verification right there are debit cards atms used as springboard for electronic fund transfer okay ATM itself can provide information about customers account and also receive instructions from the customers ATM card holders right now we talk about e wallet a e wallet sometime called a digital wallet is a secure place that contains one or more currency purses our shoppers can fund a e wallet in several different ways once funded shoppers can use e wallets online to buy goods or services right a shopper must register with the provider and may have to complete a full kyc means know your customer process before they are allowed to use a e wallet okay verified shoppers normally have a higher spending limit of e wallet okay the payment process of a e wallet is significantly different payment process the shopper is authenticated he or she then has access to that of card payments okay during the functions of the e wallet account this account may he or she then has access to the full features and e wallet account okay this account may include currency conversions top ups and access to other payment service providers right shoppers may also have the option to create an universal e wallet account during the payment process okay there is a risk here that some shoppers may get lost so we strongly recommended that you the merchant think carefully about your shopper 
you launch a e wallet service right now we talk about national electronic fund transfer known as neft neft is one of the most prominent electronic fund transfer systems of india started in november 2005 neft is a facility provided to bank customers to enable them to transfer funds easily and securely on a one to one basis okay it is done via electronic messages this is not on real time basis like rtgs this is a net transfer facility which is executed in hourly batches resulting in a time lag okay neft facilities are available in 30000 bank branches all over the country and work on a batch mode okay there is no limit either minimum or maximum on the amount of funds that could be transferred using neft however maximum amount per transaction is limited to 50000 for cash based remittances within india and also for remittances to nepal under the indo nepal remittance facility scheme okay from july 10th 2017 Settlements of fund transfer requests in any FT system is done on half hourly basis. Okay. Now we talk about real time gross settlement known as RTGS. RTGS stands for real time gross settlement, which can be explained as a system where there is continuous and real time settlement of fund transfers individually on a transaction by transaction basis without netting. Right. Real time means the processing of instructions at the time they are received gross settlement means that the settlement of funds transfer instructions occurs individually right now i just compare between rtgs and neft so in case of rtgs and in case of neft both are used for money transfer okay for rtgs the minimum limit is rupees 2 lakh okay but in case of neft there is no minimum limit okay in case of RTGS, the money transfer is using gross settlement. In case of NEFT, the money transfer is done using net settlement. In case of RTGS, money transfer is done immediate settlement. But in case of NEFT, money transfer is taken near about two hours. RTGS is costly transaction fees. In case of NEFT, smaller transaction fees. Okay. Now you talk about IMPS. IMPS stands for Immediate Payment Service. IMPS is an innovative real-time payment service that is available round the clock. This service is offered by National Payments Corporation of India known as NPCI that empowers customers to transfer money instantly through banks and RBI authorized prepaid payment instrument issuers known as PPT across India right now i talk about online bill payment online bill payment is a secure electronic service that allows customers to pay bills without having write check and mail them online bill payment usually is tied to a checking account from funds are withdrawn electronically for payment of one time or recurring bills okay online bill payment is offered by many banks and bill pay services right i hope that you have understood to this topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arquin thank you and bye bye